Welcome back everyone. Over the past few videos, we learned how to type some of the common props passed into a component. Now, it's time to focus on typing hooks. And we are going to start with the use state hook in this video. In the components folder, I have created a new folder called state. Within this folder, I've created a file called loggedin.tsx. Let me go over the component code. In the JSX, we have two buttons, login and logout, whose click handlers are to be defined. We also have a div tag, which is supposed to render whether the user is logged in or logged out. Since we have data that can change, what we need is a state variable. So let's make use of the use state hook and see how to manage its types. Step one, import the use state hook. So import use state from React. Step two, create a logged in state variable whose initial value is false. So use state is logged in, the setter function is set is logged in, and the initial value is false. Step three, conditionally render the text inside the div tag. So user is logged in, render the text logged in, else render the text logged out. So this condition is based on the is logged in state variable. Now for step four, we define the handler functions. Inside handle logged in, we're going to call set is logged in and pass it true. Similarly, inside handle logout, call set is logged in and pass in false. And believe it or not, this is our fully functional component. And we got it done without having to write a single line of TypeScript code. You might be thinking, is this actually working? So let me prove it to you. On is logged in, let's say we try to access dot length like we would on a string data type. We get the error, property length does not exist on type boolean. And if we try to pass in a value to set is logged in, which is not boolean, for example, zero instead of false, we still get an error. In plain JavaScript, zero is treated as a falsy value, but TypeScript doesn't let us do that as you can see. But how exactly is this working? Well, it is because of type inference once again. TypeScript is smart enough to infer what the state variable type is based on the initial value we pass in. When we passed in false as the initial value, TypeScript inferred that is logged in is always of type boolean, which in turn infers that only boolean values can be passed in as an argument to the setter function. You can see the types inferred by hovering over the returned values. Is logged in is boolean, and set is logged in is a slightly more complicated type offered by the React library. The type is react.dispatch, react.setStateAction of type boolean. Now I can probably say that half the time, you don't really have to explicitly type the use state hook. Type inference will take care of everything for simple values. But what about more complex types? And what if we don't know the value of the state variable initially but it can have a value in the future. Let's take a look at that in the next video.